Lots of you lovely people have been in touch asking about stock photography, whether or not you can make some money with your camera that way. Well, much as I'd love to say I've just flown all the way to Singapore to ask a very well-known stock photographer, I haven't. I've just come back from our workshop in Myanmar. When I've had my lunch, let's go and meet my partner and he can tell you a lot more about it than I can. Mm. Okay, this man is as big a buffoon as I am. <laughs> Did you have a wonderful time in Myanmar? I had a wonderful time in Myanmar. It was absolutely brilliant, mate. Absolutely. Looking forward to the next trip. Totally looking forward to the next trip, but that's not why we're here. So what okay. I need to do is to ask you, how long were you shooting? Have you been shooting as a stock photographer? 10 years, and I have to say a lot has changed in 10 years. Well, like any business, it evolves naturally. Yeah. Um, but it's just the delivery of content now, you know, with iPhones, smartphones, and so are iPhones, Instagram. So do the uh, stock agencies taking oh, images from totally, iPhones? Totally, totally, yes, yeah. So they're taking images from Flickr, they're taking images from, yeah, uh, iPhones from Instagram. Um, there's a whole paradigm shift in the industry. Mm. Um, so it's interesting times. Mm. Um, as I said, I've seen a lot change over 10 years. Um, and now, my so, advice to anyone that wants to get into stock photography now is you really have to think, do you want to run it as a separate business? Because it is a separate business. Uh, you have to literally, I liken it to like a, a steam engine, you know, the inertia to get it going, but then you've got to really, you know, shovel images into the system, into the boiler, you know, to generate the income to keep it going. Mm. So don't think, don't, if you want to go into stock photography, you really have to, have the mindset of do I want to run this as a separate business because you have to do the research you have to do um, street casting yeah and it's you, not just it's not so it's, it's, I mean, a lot of people think that it could be um, walking down the street take some nice photos and we might sell some and it make has some to money. have a concept behind it it has to have a concept that a client can use for an advertising campaign so it's not just about a pretty picture yes pretty pictures do sell occasionally for landscapes but there has to be some elements which signifies it if it's a landscape for example a wind farm you know, that that would renewable energy in, in you know it has to have metaphors behind the imagery um, how do you know what to shoot the picture agencies will give you market research with quarterly updates. Um, they plan years in advance for, for, for um, <clears throat> creative research and, and what society needs and demands of Im imagery um, for commercial purposes. So yes, they, they, they will give you a quarterly update of what's trend, what's happening uh, uh, in the environment, you know, what's happening in business. And uh, so they will set you a brief, yes, we, we're short of pictures in this area. We need, um, you know, pictures of, uh, I'd say, you know, people on, you know, smartphones now, you know, say images of laptops are kind of even outdated now. First it was, you know, old cathode ray, show my age now, cathode ray monitors, those pictures date, then they wanted uh, LCD panels and now content's being delivered very much on the go on our, on, on our smartphones and so, yeah, yeah. you know, technology. Um, so has kind of moved on, but also, so besides shooting the imagery, um, and I'm guessing it has quite a voracious appetite, the, the number of images you're gonna to need to submit each month to, yes, to you're, earn. Yes, you're really gonna to have to really, really constantly, but I, I can't put an exact figure on it, but you know, you, you would be at least in your hundreds a month of producing images. Hundreds if not thousands. Hundreds if not thousands, to yeah. To run it so as a business. As a business, and then, you can't do it all on your own. You what will yeah, need, exactly, I was going to you, say. You, you will need someone doing retouching for you, doing keywording. It's the post-processing side, which takes up a lot of time, which a lot of people don't realise. It takes up, you've got to put dust bust the, the, the images, you've got to colour correct them, uh, you've got to add metadata to them. Uh, now, this is, this is time consuming. It is very time consuming. And then you need a whole, you know, you need someone helping you produce the imagery. You know, do street casting to get model. What does that mean to produce the imagery? As you highlighted earlier, it's not just going down the street and taking a pretty picture. You have to do your research, your planning, come up with concepts, find your locations, uh, you know, negotiate to use the location, get a, a property release from the person that's going to lend you that location, and you might have to do barter trading, which is fine, which is a great way to start out. So, my advice is to anyone that's thinking about 
trying to make a living out of stock photography is, is go into it very lightly. First of all, just do a few small, simple shoots. Use your niece, your nephew, your uncle, your aunt, friends and family as models. Uh, if you're going to Choose a nice location, maybe just do a barter trade with the owner to sign off a property release. Um, it's always a good idea for, ev for a release for all your pictures, so that's model release, property <coughs> release. Even if you shoot over the back of somebody's shoulder, you need a release for that. Mm, yeah, um, What about um, so other genres of photography? So many, many uh, hobbyists and outer photographers are very much into landscape photography. Would you say there's a market for that within stock? Not a huge demand for landscapes. Um, if, if, there's a, is a, if there's a concept in it, yes. Um, uh, or it's topical, it's newsworthy, Yeah, it's an environmental type. They could be simple conceptual images. You could start by going around your house and making conceptual images. You don't need to have models, you don't need to have people in. Um, you know, it could just be a close-up shot of uh, something that signifies money or um, uh, say a piggy bank even like saving for the future you know so you can come up with creative mm. concept without having to spend a lot of money At first the, 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 the trick is is to produce for zero budget zero budget yeah now, zero uh, and that I is went, the challenge i went on a workshop run by a stock photographer many years ago who in the days of shooting on fuji velvia film etc um, he told me one of his best selling images was actually a photograph of his wife's hand holding a green you know, unleaded pump at the garage. And yeah. It was one of those things. He literally just said, "You know what? I'm, they're removing uh, leaded fuel. I think there'll be a market for this. Quick, dear, jump out of the car and hold this. Click." Yeah, yeah. it's something as simple as that. Less is more. Sometimes simple. Yeah. The trick is, it's a simple, readable mm -hmm. image that a client or uh, someone that's going to purchase an image can identify with. Mm. Nothing too complicated. Mm -hmm. Too complicated message messy images, just simple clean images like a you know, nice smiling face. Nice smiling face, face, but also I guess allowing, do you, do you need to think about leaving space to an image? So yes. you might choose several versions of an image because... Oh, portrait, landscape. Portrait, landscape, landscape yeah. uh, a, a user leaving, may want to put leaving text, text over the Leaving top copy of, for text, yes, yeah. yes. So it's thinking in advance how a client might use this at the end of the day, mm. very much so. Mm. So really, yes, uh, the, the, you can make money out of it, but you really have to assess you know, the, the production workflow that goes into it, the, the, the manpower that you need, um, or the woman power. Um, mm. So uh, just start off with small, simple images. Just contact the picture agencies, um, ask them for research, say you'd like to submit. Do you have any market research or, or, or content needs? Uh, they will send you a list and then just think creatively, how mm. can I produce? How can I produce the images? What sort of shapes and sizes and formats, for example, subject to the right, very soft background, possibly a bit bright, so text can be laid over it, subject to the right. right, subject to the left, yeah. subject bottom left with space above, right, yeah. full on. Start small, submit the images, and then when you start generating sales, then you, maybe you can take a little bit of money yeah. aside and say, oh, just invest a small little bit of mm. this money into maybe a larger production shoot. Mm. You know, we are, I can hire an assistant or I can hire somebody mm. to help me out for the day. Do you ever get told where your images have appeared? No, no. We just get the country that it's sold from, uh, the gross amount and then net amount of after commission. And I, I, I just stumble across images on my travels, you know, whether it's reading the Sunday papers or, or, or travelling on the train on a, and looking out and seeing a billboard mm. and, uh, yeah, it's, um, they, they end up in a whole manner of uh, so marketing places. media. It could be a, like a little flyer for a bank here. And it's literally, um, you walk into the bank and you might go, oh, oh, oh yeah, that's, 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 that's my image, that's my image. Yeah. And it's quite rewarding, actually. Very much so. Yeah. It's quite exciting when um, you see things like that. Yeah, I think this is in the Sunday Times, I think, just a little uh, show com computer shot technology. Again, classic. I tried not to shoot technology so it's prominent, because technology dates your images of date and you won't have so much of a lifespan on them. So it is so this it's thought process behind the image, this thinking about what you're doing, which, you know, what I teach a lot of, you know, you've thought about this here, you, you can see the girl's hand is on a mouse, you can see she's using technology, but you can't see what that technology is. is, so the image has a longer lifespan. Longer lifespan, yeah, yeah. And try to use clothes which are kind of like generic, which 
you know, not too funky because again, fashion changes yeah. and, uh, yeah. you know, and, and clothes which are kind of like comfortable on the palette, you know, generic, not, you know, glaring pinks and uh, comfortable on the palette. I mean, like bacon flavour. I'm going to have yeah. maple syrup and bacon flavour shirt today. A good colour palette. A good yeah. colour palette. Yeah, yeah, color palette. I know what you mean. Uh, this is actually one of my highest selling images. I can't recall off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, it's, it's shopping image. Very happy, generic. Happy shopping, yeah. you know, enjoy. Everyone loves to shop, don't they? And we're also and, seeing uh, here precisely... You know, good times, just, bad times. Yeah. Shopping is the number one seller. Because people will shop out of, you know, to cheer themselves up. And in, in good times, they will shop. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> flush. But also, just, you know, the thinking about the image you shoot. We've got the girl, happy, smiling, shopping bag. And you can see lots of space, space soft background to the side, neutral, so that That's there's right. somewhere, somewhere yeah. to put text yeah. or graphs or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, so your advice to somebody who is wanting to break into this, what I'm hearing you say, just make sure I've got it right, would be treat it as a sort of supplement supplementary income. income at the moment start yes. small just start putting things in and it's like any other business the more effort you put, put into, into running that business yep. the more you're yeah. likely to get out yeah. of it yeah or just devote one day a week say i'm going to shoot stock on sunday mm. and then uh, mm. keep that um I, I i used to do an image a day i would just find something conceptual uh, by the end of the year i'd have 365 images and it was just one image a day, which I thought, which will cost me no money. Mm. And it works, it mm. works. So that is a good way to start it, an image a day. That is brilliant. So yeah. Simon, look, thanks so much for talking to me. You're welcome. And You're welcome. Um, letting me sit here, we ought to go and um, kind of have a coffee or something, didn't I we? I think that would be most pleasant. Most pleasant. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you can't see, viewers, is Simon's wife, Sharon, here, who's been no. laughing as the producer in the background. <laughs> should, should we do the sign off again? I think that was a bit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos, or for more great photo tips, workshops, and training. Come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.